Let's just get right to it. Scott Peterson in the news again. I've been trying to make this video for a month with the updates to his case, but things kept changing like daily. So I kept putting it off and putting it off to see what was gonna happen. And then I decided, well, if I keep doing this, I'm never gonna make a video. So this is probably gonna be part one. I just wanna be clear right off the bat that in my opinion, Scott Peterson is guilty of murdering his wife and unborn child. So let's just get that out of the way. So his um, sentencing, his death sentence was overturned and a new trial for sentencing only was ordered. Now, recently, just a few days ago, the prosecuting attorney said he's going to again go for the death penalty, which I guess shocked Scott and his attorney. I don't know why they're shocked. Of course, they're going to go for the death penalty again. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, so that came that was settled a couple days ago. So they will have a new trial on his sentencing. They will go for the death penalty again, as I think they should, in my opinion. So that brings us to his actual trial, which they are trying to also overturn and have been trying for years and years. I kind of think they're going to win a new trial. I really do. And here's why. I have said for years that that juror number seven, uh, Ms. Nice, was going to come back to haunt this trial. She should have, in my opinion, never been on that jury. Uh, Scott's attorney screwed up big time when he fought to keep her on there. The problem was at the time she had flaming bright red hair. So Scott's attorney at the time was, in my opinion, stupid and thought because she had red hair, she was going to be a liberal and that she would help him to not be convicted. Well, the exact opposite happened. She was a big factor in him getting convicted. But here's the problem with her. She lied on her questionnaire, and this has been known for years and years and years. I always said that was going to come back to haunt things because she lied on that questionnaire. She, you know, says on the questionnaire that she had never been involved in a lawsuit, never been involved in anything like this when actually she had. So that has come back to really bite them in the butt. There was also, I can't find it now, but years ago there was a lot of proof that she had, if I remember correctly, allegedly told her friends that she wanted to get on the trial so she could write a book and get rich and famous. Well, guess what? She got with other jur jurors after the trial and wrote a book and got famous. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of problems with her being a juror in this trial. So, I kind of think they're going to get a new trial. I do believe, in my opinion, he will be convicted again. But it, the sad thing is it's going to put the family through all this again. It's going to cost the taxpayers all this money to go through all of this again. But here's the thing. I think he almost has to get a new trial because for all of us to be protected, if we're accused of something, then we have to make sure that even guilty people get a fair trial. Does that make sense? We all have to get a fair trial. And I feel like her being on the jury tainted everything. There was a lot of other problems too, like the billboards that were put up across from the courthouse with Scott's picture on it saying he's a monster. You know, today that would never be allowed and it should have never been allowed back then. And as much as I don't like Scott Peterson and as much as in my opinion, he's guilty, we have to be sure people like him get a fair trial so we can get a fair trial. We can't, you know, pick and choose. It's got to be fair trials for everybody. And, you know, there's a lot of problems with our legal system. We all know that. You know, the rich, if you can afford the best attorneys, sometimes it doesn't matter if you're guilty or not. It's who has the most money, which is a problem. But if you just go back to the bare basics of the legal system, all of us have to be sure that even guilty people get a fair trial or what chance do we have? We got to stand up for everybody. So as much as I hate it, I do feel like he probably should get a new trial. But 
like I said, I feel like he'll be convicted again. It's just a shame to have to put everybody through this all over again. I don't know if you guys have taken a look at his Facebook page and his website. It shocks me how many people he's, that support him. Um, I haven't seen what one of my uh, nemesis says, but I'm sure she's for it too. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Oh, but anyway, I digress. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm shocked that he has this many fans on Facebook and stuff saying that he's innocent. I don't, in my opinion, believe for one minute he's innocent. Come on, people. Those bodies didn't just happen to wash up right where he went fishing. Nobody was framing him. How would they have known where he was going to go fishing? I mean, it's just ridiculous. But I do believe he's going to get a new trial. So I think this is going to be, I think his next court date is November 15th. But I'm not sure if that's about the new trial or the sentence. I'll have to look that up. But, uh, you know, the other problem with this juror number seven was she was writing to him for a year after the trial ended. Which is really creepy to me. Why would she? I think she was writing to him to have stuff to put in the book. She says her therapist told her to write to him and that it would be good therapy for her. I don't believe that. In my opinion, no. I think she was writing to him to be able to add things to the book and to make herself more famous and to be more important. And, you know, I've only read little um, excerpts of the letters they wrote each other. And, ew, <laughs> this woman. I just don't know about this juror number seven. She just, it makes me mad that she screwed up this whole trial because she was selfish and wanted to be famous and wanted to make money off this trial, which she denies. She says none of that's true, but I feel like it is true. And, um, you know, to me, it's her fault. Should he ever get off? And I don't think he will, but if he did, I think he could place a lot of the blame on her shoulders. Not all of it, because again, those billboards, stuff they did that were surrounding his trial were just not right. I, I don't even think the trial should have been held where it was held. So I think there's a lot of reasons they can uh, probably get a new trial. And I think we're going to find out real shortly. So this is just part one and I'll keep updating as we go. Let me know what you guys think in the, think in the comments. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.